Hello everyone. How are you doing, my dear students? I hope you all are keeping great. So I know it's a celebration time because it's Diwali, right? But you can also have a study time in this Diwali festival. So how you can have a study time along with Diwali or Diwali celebration? So that is what I'm going to tell you in this particular video. So let's get started with best way to utilize. Diwali festival, Diwali holidays. So, there would be two types of students. One students, one group of students want to enjoy the Diwali without studying. Fine, I am happy with them. Yeah, but there would be another group of students who want to utilize their Diwali holidays. So, this particular video is for you. So, I am very sure you would be having at least three to four days of holidays for Diwali. Right, and also I'm very sure that you will be celebrating Diwali only after evening, evening or night time. Okay, if you want to go to your relatives' home or friends' home, or if they are coming to your home, so this would be happening in evening or night time. Right, so the rest of the time that is from morning to afternoon, morning to evening, that is approximately from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. What is there? So you can literally. Clear your backlogs during this time or you can also revise or you can study some tough topics. So this is how you can utilize your Diwali holidays. So again, let's have a practical and realistic approach. You won't be literally reading, studying for 9 to 10 hours, right? So you will be uh, busy with some other work or maybe whatever it is. So at least 4 hours. In these three to four days, at least four hours, you can study well. You can practice questions well, right? So let's consider at least four hours if you sit for three to four days. And you have to first, day-wise, you have to plan because someday you might have to wake up very early and you, will, you, you would be sleeping. It, it depends, right? And someday you might have to go to your relative's home quite early. Afternoon only, you might have to go somewhere. So you would be knowing the best about you. So you have to have a day-wise planner, not in the form of a notes, but at least in your mind, like when you would be free. Okay. So make sure three to four days you study for four to five hours very well. So what you have to study, how you have to study, how you can utilize these holidays for the level best. That is, you can first, if you have a backlog, clear the backlog. First, give priority to backlog. Because other days, you won't be having time. Only in the holidays. That two, three to four days is like a very uh, long, you know, uh, holiday, right? Like the, the, there, are, there are a lot of days. So you can literally clear all your backlogs in this good three to four days by studying for four to five hours. So how you can clear backlog? Because some students would be having a lot of chapters to cover. So you can clear it by watching one short videos of PW English or depending on, you know, your likings. So you can watch one short video to clear all the backlogs in short duration of time. So that is one thing that you can do. But if you do not have any backlog, I'm very sure you would be having some tough topics that you might not have understood well or you might have to revise it well. So give importance to such tough topics or chapters again you can watch our youtube uh, channel videos for the same or you can you know read your own notes that you would have sat and written when the teacher is teaching so the next priority that you should be giving is for the tough topics if you are done with tough topics as well then you can revise because for the number of revision there is there is no numbers for the revision it depends on you right if you are neat aspirants at least like ncrt you have to revise it is good if you revise like 10 times as well so you can revise very well during this time with a calm mind because this good three to four days um there there won't be anyone to trouble they there won't be anyone to ask you to come to college come to coaching no it will be chutti it will be live for all the classes right <clears throat> So this is what you can do. And the last way, like imagine you are done with everything and you're left with some time. Then you can practice questions. 
if you are already done with all of this even before diwali holidays then you can target 200 questions in these 3 to 4 days you can challenge yourself you can challenge yourself that you will solve 200 questions in this 3 to 4 days and that will be literally helping you for your dream exam preparation right so this is how you can utilize your diwali holidays deepavali holidays for the level best i hope the video was helpful let's meet in the coming video until then bye